Hi everyone, Scorp here, continuing the Schools of the Roses Gemini playthrough, playing uh, Fiend Toon Clowns, something like that. Um, not really playing pure tunes, but like, pure tunes are pretty terrible in this game. There's like, four or five good ones. So clowns will have to suffice. Uh, let's see here. Bought the trick, huh? Go away. If this were Forbidden Memories, I'd just make an Ushioni, but... I can't do that. So I'm just gonna toss a clown on the floor. Here we go, another clown. This time a good clown. <coughs> Again, um, we're here for Toon Worlds. Um, hopefully we can get one from him. Um, it should be significantly easier this time since we should be able to play a Toon World. And then we'll at least be on even footing with him. Figure I get rid of some cards there. Um, it's a little bit easier for me if I um, can get down to Toon World. I really just need to get to find better cards. It's a shame Copycat's uh, not the best card ever, but if it was Grave Robber, it would be so much better. Um, again, we're just going to discard some cards here. I do need to get to... The cards I really need... Um, unfortunately, and that's Toon World. Or more equipped. Oh hey, a baby dragon. That's not going to die horribly or anything. Thirty two hundred should be bigger than anything in his deck without an equip. <clears throat> or without multiple equips, honestly. <clears throat> Considering thousand dragons with one equip is only twenty nine hundred. Um also this thing will be thirty seven hundred on uh mountain terrain, which even Gaia the Dragon Champions only thirty six hundred with one equip. So, I should be able to beat anything that he plays. Um, the only problem is traps, and he does have things like Acid Trap Hole. And I don't have Darkness Approaches in this deck, so I can't, you know, just cheese and get rid of them. Or see them. Definitely an underrated card. Although I don't think it's really that underrated, considering I think I nerfed it. Um... The same way Clovis did, because that card in the base game was unbelievably broken. Um, let's see here. I'm not making a pumpkin, even if I have the option.
thought the baby dragon's paralyzed. How can it move? You know, paralyzing a um, flying creature in games should be a really, really bad status effect for them. Just imagining paralyzing something that's like 100 feet up in the air. That's not good. I know that doesn't check for all traps. Exactly. I was quite worried about that. That's unfortunate. Guess I should have checked with a Hain Hain. <coughs> Sir? You just took 2700. Joey! Why? Well, that was an easy win. Not what I wanted, but I guess we'll take it. Um, Acid Trap is decent. Um, Acid Trap actually works on so many cards that it's pretty worth it usually. A lot of the times with the um, uh, power-based traps like that, um, you end up in a situation where uh, your creature ends up... Uh, so, how do, how do I word this? Um, most of those power-based traps where it's based on attack power, um, you end up in a point where you kill all of the cards that don't matter because they're weak. And then you do manage to kill the stuff that, um, or, and then you can't kill the stuff that you actually want to kill with it. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, I'm gonna try reincarnating Judgeman and see what I get. If not, um, if I don't get anything good, I'll try something else and report back. So BRB. Okay. Um, I ended up reincarnating Judgment Hand instead because it was lower deck cost. Um, uh, Candle Fate's really, really strong. Um, if I were doing a straight Fiend playthrough, I'd definitely put it in my deck. Um, I mean, I might as well put it in my deck. It's literally a win condition in one card. Like, super strong. Um, it'll probably be one of the first cards that comes out of this deck. Well, I say that, and there's a whole pile of cards that are on the short list of cards that are coming out of this deck. <clears throat> so, you know, take that for what it's worth. Um, I really wanted that for Serpent Marauder. Um, sent... Oh, oops. I meant to go do Joey again. Oopsies. Oh well. I want more Tune Worlds. Hain Hain's a great scouting card, but um, not particularly useful otherwise. Time to make something that's not a tomb. But it's relatively big. So that's nice.
Bye bye, Hain Hain. Hain Hain's like, yeet, I'm out. I got a bigger creature than yours. The stone dragon. <coughs> Which, uh... We can all make jokes about that on stream. But, yeah, stone D. Pretty strong, but um, outside of his leader range... It's not that great, and he didn't draw any equips, so we're in for a relatively easy game. Put my Dream Clown in defense. Uh, there is stuff we can get from this guy, though. Um, Malevolent Nuzzler should be in his deck. And Nuzzler should be a good card for us. Shame that doesn't work on my creatures, too. Again, I think we've seen enough of Soul Hunter's animation. <laughs> And we're going to see a lot of it in this playthrough, so... Oh, Mystical Sand. a little sandstorm. <clears throat> Take out my poor clown. I could really use drawing a Toon World at some point in my existence. Oh, well, I guess I just asked for it, and that's what I get. It's a pretty good place for, uh, Hard like that. Interesting. Good thing I don't have any dragons. stuffed animal. Oh wow, is this going to actually be big enough to beat my stuffed animal? Oh. You've made a poor, poor choice. I see. Sometimes you just let them make the bad decision and move on. Hmm. 
now to see if he had any malevolent nuzzlers in that deck. No, Spring of Rebirth. Spring of Rebirth is not quite what we are looking for. Cyber Shield's uh, also not what we are looking for, but... I didn't get the Shadow Spell. Oh well. Shadow Spell's a decent card, but it's not a game-endingly good card for by any means. Okay, now let's actually go dual Joey like I wanted to. Also, this deck is going to have a little bit of a problem getting low enough deck costs, so I'll probably just finish off Joey today. Farm him twice. And then come up with a plan for Bakura. I did completely just overlook... Um, Uh, Gramps, but I'm not worried about him at all. Um, yeah. Okay. So, let's go... Dual Joey. Hopefully he can give us what we're looking for. Hopefully we can draw Toon World in the top half of our deck, and... That should help us getting the card from him. Um, at least his AI likes to put the Toon World on the field, even if it doesn't like to play it. There isn't really an AI that actually likes to play Toon World, unfortunately. Well, that card is not a Toon World. It's probably a baby dragon, though. Actually, it could be a lot of dragons, considering he has level cost reduction, so... It could be a parrot. Oh. Look. Did you look at that? It was a parrot. The card next to him is probably a Stellar Trap. Hopefully it's a Tomb World. Maybe Tears of the Mermaid can go get it. <clears throat> Unlikely, but... There's always a chance. That your opponent just doesn't do anything to a card that you played. Well, this Battle Ox is useless now. Um, Serpent Marauder is, it has a very unique effect, um, which doesn't affect me because my deck leader's effect supersedes it. Which is extremely nice. Uh, hmm. Not sure what's a play. This might be a bit of an issue. Um, this was the one that he played two equips on, right? Because that was 4,100. Okay. I hope my creature's stronger. Should be. These Thousand Dragons having a bad time, though.
Why is my clown that's riding a thousand dragon weaker than his thousand dragon? In base stats. enough. Unfortunately, my creatures are going to get stunned because my creatures are pretty much all dark. Just keep him from running away. Unfortunately, progress is going to be very slow. Since I get stunned after every attack, since all of his creatures are wins. Fortunately for me, there's not that many wins in the entire game. Also, um, Serpent Marauder is great for getting your opponent to mess up. And he wants to reborn his Gaia. Well, let's see if we can find a Tune World. That's a red eyes. Can red eyes eventually become a tune? Can we make a red eyes tune dragon? I know they made a dragoon of red eyes, but red eyes is just a. Unfortunately, it's unfortunate just a B-grade boss monster in comparison to some of the others. Defense on Dragon Champions 21. Should be 26 on Mountain. Oh, I just finally got Fiend Reflection. Sure, putting a lot of thousand dragons in his graveyard. Um, I'm gonna try to not go all in on one creature if I can help it. Since uh, if I go all in on one creature, then if I get acid trap hold once, I have a bad time, and that's not good. Oh hey, I'm gonna go ran. Unfortunately for him, um he is not stronger than me.
Um... I don't have a good fusion in my hand. Oh, well. Um. Okay. There goes another Gaia. Sorry, I only gave him three Gaias. And 3,000 dragons, and I think almost all of them are in the graveyard at this point. Two Gaias. Two thousands. Oh, man. Graveyard's getting a bit uh, full. Hey, what did we get rid of? Copycat. Oh, that's a thousand dragon. No. Probably was a baby dragon or something. Oh yeah, this Chimera. I don't have a spell in my hand. Oh well. Hopefully he doesn't hit me. Well, I was hoping to get done with all of this um, farming by the end of this episode, but it does not look like that's going to happen. Especially if I can't find a Toon World from him. And he does have three in his deck, so... They aren't impossible to get from him. Okay, that's a Goblin Secret Remedy. Slowly walk him down. Make him run over his own card. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ooh, manga ray you ran. That hurts. Well, sir, I don't think you're going to play a Toon World this duel. For some reason. So, um, bonk. Um, I can't play another monster, so good enough for me. Oh, wow. You play a Toon World as the last card. 
There's absolutely no way this is going to be in his graveyard. Um, I'm just going to steal something from his graveyard to increase my chances of that thing being in his graveyard. Uh, or of the Toon World being in his graveyard, even though I'm pretty certain there's no way it's in the, when, in the graveyard. But Copycat does take cards out of the graveyard, even though it says make a copy. So, I mean, there is a tiny, and I mean tiny, chance there is a Toon World in this graveyard slot. But I don't see one, so... Copycat would be great. Monster Reborn's good also. Um, let's go for the copycat. Yeah, got it. Um, how about a red eyes to go with our summon skull? Yeah. Oh well, Thousand Dragon's fine. Oh well, um, unfortunately next episode is going to be more of this, so thank you all for watching, um, and have a nice day.